Hey Cowpoach, today I woke up with a bad idea, and I decided that I should record it for the whole world to see. In this game there are six interests, and I decided that I wanted a town full of spooky sims. Although the only problem is, I don't think there are enough spooky sims in this game, so I guess I'll just take any sim that at least likes spooky stuff. Wait, I want to know if I'm able to kick anyone out already. No way! <laughs> no way! Bro, I'm sorry, but you gotta go. You just don't fit in with the vibe of the town at all. I know you lived here for 20 years, but... <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> it just disappeared. Speaking of which, I know I just moved you in right before I started recording, Gino, but... You really gotta go. Um, unfortunately, being an Italian stereotype isn't very goth of you, buddy. I'm sorry to say. Can I kick the mayor out? Oh no. Bummer, dude. Now that's beautiful. We don't need a government in this town. There he is, my first victim. <laughs> Greetings, I am Sir Vincent Skullfinder. I am an academic, a scholar, and lover of all things deceased. Well, y'all fit in here perfectly. So I guess all I gotta do now is just move him in. <laughs> Buddy, what the hell? Now I gotta go out here before he pulls that shit on me. Now that's... A museum if I've ever seen one. Oh, uh, what the hell, man? How are you going to be already asleep? I need some exhibits for my museum. Perhaps you could forge me some? You want me to forge something? Well, alright then. Now I present to you a caveman stripper pole. By the way, just between you and me, I would definitely not dance on that. Oh, and it comes in stone too. There we go. Perfect, just the way it should be. So what you think, Vincent? Do you like them? Oh no, he just wants more stuff for me. I have no idea how this chair is still standing, but you know what? It works for me. I'll just put the chair right here, so no one can get in and no one can get out. Aw, look at him. He's so happy with his new stuff. And he wants more. Oh. Bro, did he just blow me a kiss? Whoa. Uh are we in love? Is this what being in love is like? V Vincent? Oh. Well, I guess not. Sorry for assuming things, buddy. I just built the perfect sarcophagus, and Vincent is going to love it. Vincent, how the hell did you get in there? Vincent? Vincent, come over here! Vincent! Okay, now you're just being an asshole right now. Oh, hey, Violet, how you doing? Are you going to help me, or are you just going to sit there? Girl, what the hell was that? Listen, I do that outside of Walmart all the time, but we have more important things to do. I wonder if leaving and coming back will fix it. Oh, no. Now Violet's trapped, too. Okay, I have no idea what else I'm supposed to do. I am completely stumped right now. Did the boy just eat her? I'm getting out of here. Oh, now you're out. Come on, let me just give you your shit already. I really hope that this is the last one because I don't know how much more of this I can take. Well, it looks like it's time to add another sim to my town. Um, no. You know what? I have decided to just add a bed so I can speed things along quicker. And no, buddy, it's not for you to sleep in. Oh my god, Poppy, just go away! I don't want you! Bro, why does she keep coming back? Poppy, I'm begging you! You don't want to be here! Y you know what? It's fine. I'll just take Jano back, I guess. Listen, I know I kicked you out right after I moved you in, but... Do you want to move back in? Alright, let's get started on you so I can level up and add more sims to this town. Don't ask me how this thing is able to punch in, okay? It runs on hopes and dreams. If it makes Gino happy, then that's all that matters. I'm gonna do to Gino what I did to Vincent, and if he gets stuck in his bedroom, then it's entirely his fault, not mine. There we go. Now that's a room I would love to sleep in. I have to say, I'm really happy that Gino let me build stuff for him. It really lets my creative juices flowing. I can really see myself in having a future in interior design. Oh my god, finally I leveled up! 
It was nice knowing you, Gino. It's time for me to go now. Oh. Looks like nobody here is goth. Don't you yawn at me, you blonde bitch! Oh, hey, buddy! What'd you got for me today? Oh, yeah, I get to add townies at this level. Ooh, I'm really looking forward to this. Well, if you don't mind me, buddy, I'm going to take a really quick nap. Oh, hey, here's someone who likes spooky stuff. She may not be a spooky simp, but we gotta take what we are given here. Alright, Elmeria, I'll get started on that on library for you. Wait, the columns are stackable in this game? This is... This gives me a bad idea. Well, I have no idea how many columns this is, but apparently I maxed it out. Regardless, I'm sure Elmira is going to love it. Holy shit, her house is see-through. Do you think if I climb those columns, I'll be able to meet God and wrestle with him? Alright, Elmira. What you want? Well, look who it is. The Sim who built me an empty library. Well, geez. No need to thank me, ma'am. Well, no need to worry, Elmira. You've called on the right sim to help you. Now, this is a bookshelf full of Hypnosis My fanfiction, all of which is written by me. No, you are not allowed to read it. Oh, hey, Vincent! I see you escaped your museum, I see. Oh. Alright then. See you later, I guess. Elmira, no, don't- don't touch any of that! Please, don't- don't read it! It's embarrassing! I'm telling you! Oh, what are we doing over here? Summoning demons, I see. I haven't kissed one in a long time. Oh, we summoned a ghost. We summoned a ghost. <laughs> She's adorable. Whoa, Vincent. Are you cheating on me? I, I really thought we had something between us. Why would you do this to me, Vincent? Whoa, Violet. Well, this is a new development. I- I don't know how to feel about this. I feel so conflicted. There we go. Now that's perfect. I don't know why you would want a television if they apparently rot your brain, but yeah, sure, whatever, I'll build you one. Now that is what I call a flat screen. Ah shit, looks like Elmira is pulling the Vincent on me. Now it's time to pull the oldest trick in the book. All right, Elmira, let me give you your television. I'll put it in here so you'll have something to watch while you're trapped. Well, she wants more bookshelves, probably to counteract the television rotting her brain. Okay, buddy, I need you for a moment. Do you think you could help me out? I didn't expect that. <laughs> buddy, I came here to get happy essences, but now I'm going to leave here feeling something else. Alright, now that's three bookshelves full of fanfiction, all of which is written by me. To be perfectly honest with you, I kind of ran out of inspiration halfway through, so I kind of just key matched through half of those books. But it's fine, I'm sure Elmira isn't going to notice. Well, looks like she's happy with it. I just hope that she doesn't read any of it. Oh my, oh my goth. There's a goth, 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 goth. Please move in, please move in. Now we got that taken care of. Buddy, what the hell is wrong with you? Leave him alone! Okay, now I need to get this guy out of here stat before they all kill him. I think I'm going to put him right where Patrick used to be. Now that's a house if I've ever seen one. I'm sure Ray is going to love it. Welcome home, Ray. I hope you're happy that I saved you from those assholes. Oh my- Buddy, wake up! That's not for you! That's for me! I'm not sure how to feel about Buddy watching me while I sleep, but I guess I feel safe. Uh, Buddy, you're standing way too close to me. Can you, like, step back a little bit? Yeah, I don't think there are very many spooky sims this early on. I think I might have to, like, grab someone else on the way. Dear God, what is Gordon's problem? Listen, if anyone is going to be a town menace, it's gonna be me. Aw, uh, it looks like Patrick is back. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> I think I messed up. Patrick, I am so sorry. I had no idea you liked spooky stuff. Hey, sport. I'm Pat Rhino. Uh, I used to live here. Remember? <laughs> yes, I- I remember all too well. 
Patrick is that one guy in the goth club that gets judged severely for looking like a total normie even though he's going to be the main act. Alright, Patrick, buddy. Let's get you moved right back in. You know what? I'll just put you right next to Gino since you love food so much. There. I placed down a bunch of cards to keep him safe from all the gatekeepers. You know what? I think I'm going to call it quits here. I'm kind of tired. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.